Hey guys, here for another Samsung Galaxy Note 4 video. Um, in this video, I want to share with you guys uh, one of the app default apps that I've been using recently to take notes. Um, it's called S Note, which is uh, this app was actually available on the Galaxy Note 3, and I think it was also available on other Galaxy Note devices prior to the 3. Uh, but this year, what I'm liking so much is the uh, widget right here. This is the widget right here, and the widget when you open up the phone for the first time, most likely is already going to be there so if it's not there you could go ahead and look for it in your widget area but uh let's go ahead and show you guys uh the things that i like about this s note uh when you tap right here when you're using the widget alone uh it, it does the same thing that the app would does it takes you right there to the app that's why most of the times i just remove the app from the home screen i don't use the app whatsoever and i use just use the uh widget here um, from here you can see recent notes uh, here you can see all your notes and another great thing here is that you can save all your quick memo or your action memos that you get uh, with the air command uh, you can save them right here as well which is great um, and that's it uh, one thing that you can also do uh, wait, uh, this has other new templates you see right here it says use new templates and when you click right there you have the options to choose lot and lots of templates you got the blank page you got the note page which is uh, um, the one that I mostly use the one with the lines uh, you got the meeting note uh, right here you could click on there and right here you could create you know everything is already laid out like you see right there all everything is already laid out and you can just fill in the blanks which is very cool and you can add more pages as well uh, you can also do a checklist uh, schedule this is very cool too uh, for those that need to create a schedule look at that Monday to Friday then you fill in the notes here you can change the month and all that and of course you can add more pages um, other uh, picture diary another cool template as well uh, here you tap and hold if you tap and hold here you could take an image or you could search for your in your gallery and for example add an image here Let's go ahead and say I want to add that one there there blah 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 save it boom and it will save the image right there and you could keep on doing right same thing over here and you can over here over here you fill in the blanks and over here and over here as well which is not bad uh, another template that's very cool is uh the diary you got a diary over here you got the recipe over here you got special events as well this is one that could very well be used a lot like you see there thank you right there and you fill in the blanks and all that awesome uh, here you got let's go ahead and show you there's a lot of templates here uh here you got your travel note baby diary movie reviews and wine review and there's also templates for landscape mode as well you got blank note uh two column note uh, meeting note and schedule another cool feature here on the widget is this right right here uh when you want to write start writing right away a note you could just go ahead here and start writing by clicking right there right there and when you when you're done with the note you could just save it or whatever and of course here you can add images or take a picture as well or over here you got undo and you got redo over here and right here um if you if you want to use the fingers you could do this if you don't want to use the fingers you just tap right there and just eliminates the fingers um let's go there boop 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 and eliminate uh, another great feature here is that this time around they added calli calligraphy you see here calligraphy pen and uh, you could change of course the colors if you want and you could change the width as well as well and um, when you're taking the notes with calligraphy they look very very nice the writing here with calligraphy it looks beautiful Look at that, that looks very, very awesome. Uh, that, I believe, it's new this year. The calligraphy was not available last year. Uh, and, of course, this one right here, which is the fountain pen. I don't know if that was available last year. Uh, but you got your usual pen. Uh, you got the pencil and other ones as well. Now, let me show you guys photo note right here. Photo note, when you open it up, is going to open up the camera, like you see there. Uh, this was actually shown in the... Uh, presentation of the galaxy note 4 on stage 
Uh, let's say we want to take an, Im an image of that, a picture of that box with the writings. Uh, this is very convenient, like if you are in a classroom and you want to take an image of something that's being shown on the screen. Take an image right there. And there you go. Now let's go ahead and work on it. So right here, what we can do, we could go ahead and straight it up the lines. Go like that. Uh, make the image a little bit more straighter, like that. Like that go ahead and finish this right here it's going to click done now like you see there the image has been selected and saved and now let's go ahead and add it to the note because we're going to be taking a note right so now that we have it here as a note uh, right here you could go ahead and choose a uh, convert to edit the tab right there it says use the convert to edit tool to transform your images into lines you can edit these lines after they are converted click there now it's going to process it and like you see there now the image that we took has been converted like if it was drawn on the this note we're using a pen or another other medium uh we could go ahead and zoom in so you can see a little bit better like you see there looks very very cool looks like it was actually drawn with the pen or something like that uh right here you can go ahead and edit like see you can go ahead and edit the lines see these edges that were done because of the image that we took see you can go ahead and edit these lines Whoop, look at that and of course, uh, you can also write on it as well, but you don't know, you don't want to do that. But it's up to you, whatever you do with that. But the, the thing is that you can actually uh, take a note or take a picture of a slideshow that you are looking at while you are in a classroom or in a meeting and just put it, add it to your notes. And from here, you could keep on adding other pages and just keep on writing. Like you see there, then you could go to the page before and you can see your note, which is awesome. Very cool feature there. Another feature, of course, is this one, which is normal. This is the one when you want to launch a note with the keyboard selected and with the you know text entry selected as well like see here test and that's it that's what it is and you can keep on typing if you want doing the whole note while you're tapping typing as well or you could leave it like i do i just type first the i type text in the the title of the note then i go ahead and switch to uh then i go ahead and switch to pen and start like writing my notes here because honestly, I rather write than type. Another cool feature here is the voice to text. Let's go and tap on there. Uh, like you see here, it says keep at least eight inches away from your phone. And what it does is just gonna record your voice into text. That way you can add it to a note. Uh, let's go and tap right there. You have up to five minutes. Uh, right here, it's being uh, done in English, but I believe you can actually change that. Or I think if you're using your phone with your in Spanish default language, I think this most likely is gonna be Spanish as well. So right here, let's go and start talking. Today is a great day to make a video for YouTube, exclamation mark. Why are people so mean on the internet? Question mark. Wow, I can't believe the Giants won three games out of five in five years exclamation mark whatever like i said this is an awesome app that lets you record your voice and converts it into text haha -ha. exclamation mark And that's it. Like you see there, it takes your text message, your your voice, and converts it into text. When you're done, you all you gotta do is um, click right here. Let's go ahead and say we're done. And like you see there, it kept recording. In, uh, text saved. And look at here. Look at here. It's now it added to a note. And from here, you could keep on texting, or you could 
you could go ahead and keep on writing whatsoever and that's it like see there it works very good it understands what you're saying uh, most of the time and my english is not that perfect but it works very good um of course uh, another feature that i like another tip that i like is when i'm working on a note or when i'm uh when i want to have fast access to a note you could go ahead and create a shortcut uh you could go ahead and save it here right you go ahead and uh note test text save that's being saved right but right here i could go ahead and save it to the shortcut at shortcut to home screen and if you want to change the title you could do that but i don't let's go and click and save and now it has been saved to the screen like you see you right there boom you tap right there you're always going to have access to the note and when you want to keep on editing you could go ahead and click right there and keep on wait let me see a bit let's go ahead and tap right there and edit now it goes to edit mode and from here you can keep on writing another thing to keep in mind is that you can actually print the pages or the notes the or the work that you've been doing here with the s note uh, for example this one has three pages right here but let's go ahead and say i want to go ahead and print this you can click right there and select print uh, right here is going to tell me which pages do you want to print. Right now, I'm just going to print the first one. But if you want, you can print all three of them. Let's go ahead and click done. Let's go ahead and click done over here. Uh, right here, it says, but you can need the mobile app, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, right here, like you see here, recently used. This is the printer that I have. I could go ahead and save it as a PDF, or I could go ahead and add more printers. Uh, right now, by default, when you open up this phone, you're just going to have the plugin for Samsung print service plugin hp uh, print service plugin but this one right here epson print enabler i just downloaded from the play store so if you here click here download print the downloaded plugin uh these are the ones that are available well, you see here you got canon you got epson you got hp which is the most popular ones uh, you got samsung mopia print service and think free mobile for i don't know what that and you got cloud print of course but at least it has these three which is the most popular ones so once you're done once you're done and it finds your you know your finds your printer you just go ahead and select it this is the one that i used uh you go number of pages color if you want to go ahead mono you could choose that uh, pages blah blah orientation landscape or portrait and let's go ahead and print now since my phone is connected wirelessly you know with my printer is connected wirelessly so i don't know if you can hear the printer going off it's going off right soon there you go so let it let's wait for it to finish okay let's go ahead and get the note and there it is look at this playstation vita review pros and uh, like you see here since i chose color uh, this came out in red and everything else came out in dark blue wow. so that's it guys i just wanted to share you guys of uh, the s note uh, feature here on the galaxy note 4 a lot of these features like i said before could be available on the galaxy note 3 uh, but if I'm not mistaken, uh, when the Galaxy Note 4 was presented for the first time, I think this feature right here was new, which is the uh, photo note. I think that was new this year. And the calligraphy, if I'm not mistaken, was also new as well. Um, of course, um, other thing to keep in mind is that you could change the cover. Like you see here, you could change the cover of the notes. Uh, that one right there came out in blue. Well, if you tap right here... Uh, you could go ahead and change edit cover and you could go ahead and edit uh, go ahead and select another cover there if you want so that's it guys uh, this was a look at s note for the samsung galaxy note 4 thanks for watching till next time